ஜெய் குருதேவ் குட் மார்னிங் டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் டு த ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அண்ட் லேர்னிங் செஷன் ஐ எம் மிஸ் சுஜாதா கோயிங் டு ஹேண்டில் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் ஃபார் கிரேட் த்ரீ லெட் ஸ்டார்ட் சில்ட்ரன் ஐ ஹோப் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஆஃப் யூ ஆர் ஃபோண்ட் ஆஃப் மேத்ஸ் ரைட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லெட் மீ டெல் யூ வாட் இஸ் maths mean okay mathematics is the study of numbers and how they are related to each other and to the real world let me tell you some real life examples where we can see the numbers like in calendars watches and wall clocks bills mobile phones tv remote control measuring tapes tickets coins and currencies in third standard level a first chapter is about numbers up to 9999 children in second standard you would have learnt about three digit numbers here in third we are going to learn about four digit numbers too in numbers our first topic is about place value number system can be well defined by knowing the place value of the number so we can see the definition now the place value is the value of the location of digit in a number children we know that we have numerals such as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 we call these numerals as digits in the number here we have few examples children in the first number we have six ones and eight tens and we call it as 86 so it is a two digit number in the second number we have six ones eight tens and three hundreds we call it as 386 this is a three digit number in the third number we have six ones eight tens three hundreds and 1000 we call it as 1386 and this is a four digit number here we have a place value chart with number blocks let's represent the number 1672 using the blocks from right to left column first we have two ones that is 2 next we have tens here 10 ones make 1 10 so we have 7 tens that is 70 next we have hundreds here 10 tens make 100 so we have 6 hundreds that is 600 next we have thousands here 10 hundreds make 1000 so we have 1000 that is 1000 children we have already learned that the smallest three digit number is 100 the greatest three digit number is 999 therefore there are 
three digit numbers from hundred to nine hundred and ninety-nine. Now when we had one two nine hundred and ninety-nine we get nine hundred and ninety-nine plus one gives you thousand. Therefore, the smallest four-digit number is thousand. The greatest four-digit number is nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Therefore, there are nine hundred four-digit numbers from thousand to nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Now, children. Let's learn three forms to represent the numbers. The first one is standard form. The second one is word form. And the third one is expanded form. In the standard form, we represent the four digit numbers as four, two, Six, five. In word form, we represent the number as four thousand two hundred sixty-five. In expanded form, we represent the number as four thousand plus two hundred plus sixty plus five. Now, let's see few examples. Write the number in word form. First sum: five, six, four, one. We can write it as five thousand six hundred forty one. And the second sum is seven. Nine eight two. So we can write this as seven thousand nine hundred eighty two. Here we have another method. Write the number in expanded form. The first sum is six thousand two hundred and four. It can be written as six thousand plus two hundred plus zero plus four, and the second sum is nine thousand eight hundred and fifteen. This can be written as nine thousand. Plus eight hundred plus ten plus five. Next, we have write the number in standard form. The first one is two thousand plus three hundred plus eighty plus six. This can be written as two thousand three hundred and eighty-six, and the second sum is four thousand plus zero plus ninety plus three. This can be written as four thousand ninety-three. In numbers, a second topic is about successor and predecessor. Here, first we are going to learn about successor. The definition is to find the successor of a given number, add one to the given number, so we get the next number as a result. 
that is when we add 1 to the number 1236 we get 1237 therefore the successor of 1236 is 1237 here we have few examples now find the successor of 4871 is 4871 added by 1 gives you 4872 in the second sum 3679 is added by 1 gives you 3680 here 3680 is the successor of 3679 the second one is predecessor the definition is to find the predecessor of a given number subtract 1 to the given number so we get the result as the before number that is when we subtract 1 from the number 1236 we get 1235 now we write the predecessor of 4236 has 4236 subtracted by 1 gives you 4235 here 4235 is the predecessor of 4236 the next sum is 7600 when 7600 is subtracted by 1 we get 7599 here 7599 is the predecessor of 7600 here the session gets over my dear students before that i would like to give you a few questions kindly practice to write these four digit numbers jay gurudev thank you